Let me tell you a secret about workflow. We have all these tutorials and flowcharts about a ideal workflow for astrophotography, but the reality is very, very different. Rarely does everything actually go to plan and a workflow from the beginning of the image to the end of the image looks very, very different. So let me show you how I produced an image of M42 this year through the bushfire smoke in about 235 easy steps. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Lights on, turn on, home the mount, set the time, the last alignment, connect the camera, bug spray, put the roof, caps off, close everything from last time, connect the guide scope, connect the mount, new sequence with profile, connect the camera, connect the mount, framing and mosaic. Restart everything. Turn the computer on. Start PhD guiding. Connect the guide camera. Open Sequence Generator Pro. New sequence with profile. Connect the camera. Connect the mount. Choose the directory to save the images. Save the sequence. Framing and mosaic wizard. Slew to the target. Rotate the double. Wait for it to get dark. Start taking a binned loop. Focus. More focusing, adjust the filter wheel position to avoid vignetting, focusing, plate solving, create the sequence, turn out the lights, calibrate guiding, call the camera to minus 15 degrees Celsius, give up because it's cloudy. Open, lights on, power on, set switch position, date, last alignment, target, open the roof, rotate the dome. Mozzie spray. Restart the imaging computer. Start PHD2. Connect the devices. Connect the mount. Connect PHD2 to the mount. Guide. Sequence generator pro. Load a sequence or start a new one. Connect the camera. Connect the mount. Frame and focus at 4x4 four four binning. Lights out. Run sequence. Give up and literally do all of that all over again and choose a new scope and choose a new target because all of your images were ruined. <laughs> Connect to the observatory, download the photos, image calibration, dark frame subtraction, image registration star alignment, pick a reference frame, add files, load the registered files in to blink them, normalize the histogram, blink, register the stars again because you've got to put drizzle data on, blink the images, look for UFOs, remove bad frames, delete. Image integration, stack all the long exposures, add drizzle files, auto stretch preview, drizzle integration, add drizzle files, close the rejection windows, auto stretch preview, save raw file, stack the shorter exposures, add drizzle files, close rejection, auto stretch preview, add the drizzle files to drizzle integration, close the rejection, auto stretch preview, save as raw, screen transfer function, adjust the level, compare the two blended, star mask, get the shadows and midtones from STF tool, adjust the mask, apply the mask, test the mask, invert mask, needs larger structures, close the mask, apply the mask, test the mask and invert it to see if the structures are protected, invert it back, hide the mask, Morphology, morphological transformation, iterations two, test out the star reduction, undo, redo, undo, adjust the settings to make it a bit more severe, undo, redo, apply the same mask to the shorter exposure, hide the mask, apply morphological transformation, save the edited file, disable the mask, histogram transformation with the settings from the screen transfer function to the histogram transformation, apply that to the image, turn off the preview, Save the stretched image as a TIFF. Copy the screen transfer function to histogram transformation for the short exposure. Disable the mask. Apply the transformation. Turn off the preview. Save it as a TIFF. Open the new TIFFs in Photoshop. Select all. Copy. Paste as new layer in the longer exposure. Mask the layer. Play with blending. Save as your luminance layer. Now do it again. Lights on. Mount on. We hung the mount. Take your right camera off, and bag it. Spray turn. 
Restart everything, synchronize the tone, last alignment. Connect the devices, connect the mount, like the velocity, connect to the color camera, frame and focus, focus. Take a test frame, start guiding, check the test frame, recenter and reframe. Check focus again, start guiding again, set exposure length, set number of frames, start sequence. Get a beer, Patrick and Morty. Log in remotely from inside and keep monitoring the session. Copy the files over from the observatory. Copy in your most recent dark calibration frame. Add the color frames. Add the dark frame. Calibrate. Add a reference image. Generate drizzle data. Add the calibrated frames. Register the images. Add the registered files to blink. Normalize the images. Blink the images. Remove the bad data. Look for UFOs. Add the remaining registered images. Choose your pixel rejection algorithm. Add the drizzle files. Stack the images. Open the drizzle files. Drizzle integration. Close the rejection. Auto stretch the integration. Apply color calibration. Apply background neutralization. Apply SCNR. Auto stretch again. Save the stack. Copy the screen transfer function to the histogram transformation. Apply the histogram transformation to the image. Disable the preview, save the stretched image as a TIFF, use star alignment to register the HA layer and the new color layer. Open the HA and the RGB layer in Photoshop. Clean up any obvious imperfections and dust motes. Increase the saturation with the hue saturation layer. Agonize over the image for ages, then spend an inordinate amount of time fiddling with the image to get it just the way you want to and resizing for Instagram or the web. There you go, it's not the greatest image, but I'm happy to get an image at all out of this bushfire season. Oh my god, so many steps. I hope this video was as boring for you as it was for me to edit. Anyway, remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. <laughs>